Now this is a gut check for me. I have to look in the mirror and be like, hey, have I done a good job with this? No. Okay? Every day I look in the mirror, I'm like, damn, I'm getting old. Get Hey, my Omega family. Just wanted to sit down and kind of talk with you guys and get everything started. So I asked you guys last week, what's your purpose? And the cool thing is it kind of got me thinking about mine. I mean, I kind of thought I knew what I was talking about, what I had in mind. But uh, the cool thing is this weekend, went to church, pastor kind of hit the nail on the head. He was talking about his purpose. We're studying in Romans about Paul and what the whole purpose of everything that the gospel is centered on. So it was interesting to kind of think of his three bullet points that he did. So Paul laid out the man, okay? Who Paul is, what his resume is, um, why you should listen to him, etc. Then Paul talked about his message. Why was he so confident in the material that he was bringing? Because it was truth. It was the gospel. It was something powerful, okay? Then third, he was talking about his mission what he was doing, what he was called to do. So it said that he was not ashamed of the gospel and that he was eager to share it and that he was obligated to share it. So I sat there and kind of listened to that and yes, that was more on a personal note, how I lead my family and uh, either financially or physically or spiritually, how I lead my family. What's my purpose? being here to help my wife and my kids and my community. Then also, hey, I have a job. I love what I do. I have passion for it. But do I do a good enough job to tell you about how to take care of yourself? So I was just going to use the same three bullet points that Paul used in Romans to help you guys. It got me thinking at 2 o'clock in the morning what my purpose is for you, for chiropractic for health in general, okay? So, number one, the man. Who am I? I'm Dr. Trymeyers. I'm a sports chiropractic physician, and I love what I do, and I'm passionate about it. See injuries of all ranges, all ages, you name it. So, I do have experience in the things that I'm going to talk to you about, good and bad, personally, and what I've seen on my patients. So, I've learned the hard way, and I've learned what works, okay? And I'm going to give you my biased opinion because of those results. And we'll talk about that of in the future, why I like specific exercises, why I don't like specific exercises, why I like this diet plan or not diet plan, which we will eventually get into. Why I don't want you to think of a diet. I want you to think of a healthy lifestyle, but we'll talk about that later. So, number two, what is my message? My message is your body is designed to heal. It is. If you cut yourself, guess what? You don't have to think about it to heal itself. It will naturally do it. That natural process is called your innate intelligence. So, a lot of times we do stupid things that hinder the response of your body's healing capacity. Either with our food, our sedentary lifestyle, our terrible thought process, whatever, stop it. And the thing is, I'm looking myself in the mirror. I do these same stupid things. Now is time to change. I need to change the way I view things, okay? And I'm gonna hopefully help you do the same thing. And third, the mission. Who am I doing this for? When I look in the mirror sometimes, I feel like I've failed. Me, my family, my patients, and my community. I haven't done a good job of giving you the, the message of what health really is. So, that's going to stop. I'm tired of that. I'm going to take the lead, and I'm motivated to do this. And I hopefully want to motivate you to motivate your family and friends to take charge and get their health back. I'm not ashamed of chiropractic. I love what it does and it can help people. I am eager to share it. I'm gonna shout on the rooftops that this stuff can help. And I'm obligated to do it. I'm here 
to help my patients and my community out. So one of the things Pastor JD talked about this weekend was how you view religion. And one of the things that he was talking about religion is, that's a bad thing, is I obey, therefore I try to get accepted. So it's a works-based faith, okay? Or what the gospel says is now you're accepted and therefore you obey. So there's two fundamental thought processes that are different. One's out of fear or selfishness, you're trying to achieve righteousness, or I'm righteous, you're adopted into the family, now go live it. It's there. You've already got the gifts. And that's how I want to view our health. I'm not going to start a diet or an exercise plan or whatever to get healthy. I want you to get healthy to achieve weight loss. Um, increase strength, increase range of motion, decrease pain, decrease inflammation, sleeping better, picking up my grandkids, whatever your da 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 New Year's resolution is, I promise you, if you focus on getting healthy, it automatically happens. I want you to think, try, I am healthy. I'm going to get up early, I'm going to do my exercises, I'm going to do this stuff. Not because I have to try to get better, it's just what a healthy person does. I'm going to go and I'm going to have a salad with some chicken or whatever, eat a nice healthy meal, or I'm going to fast, or I'm going to go jog instead of sit on the couch for hours and drink beer and eat wings. What are you doing? Think of yourself as healthy and your body will naturally start to do it. You'll think more positive thoughts. You'll have better actions. You'll respond better to people. That's my goal for you, is to be healthy. It can happen. I'm here to help you through that process. We're going to do it together. Cheers. And honestly, I'm tired of seeing people sick and tired and broken down, going to take drugs or surgery as their first option, and then coming to me later on and be like, hey, I, I don't have anything else. I can't do any more surgeries because it's not warranted. Uh, I guess I'm going to try this out. Why not come here first? This is a lower level of care. This is a conservative treatment. Let's see if we can fix you first and hopefully you don't have to have surgery or hopefully you don't have to be on that medication for the rest of your life. Think about it. Your body is designed to heal. Let it.